shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity. I await whilst praying. For this What's up guys? This is my second let's play and uh, it's going to be on Shenmue. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning stars. And this stars is a game that I light. haven't played in a very long time. I've completed it once and, and this is like, I'm talking begins. years ago. Um, I got this game on launch when it launched on November uh, 1990, is it 1990, no, November 2000 it came out, um, and I pretty much got it on launch because um, it was like, it came out pretty much near my birthday, um, and I remember seeing like, um, reviews about it in uh, magazines and such, and I was really hyped up really hyped up about this game. I wish Sega just kept the series going because you know Sega only made like one and two and then I think there was plans of three or something like that but anyway they decided that they wasn't going to make a number three because of how much money it made or how much money it cost to make um, which is a bummer really. Bummer for the fans because uh, we don't get to see the final storyline, um, see how it ends, you know, the conclusion. Um, I know Shenmue 1 cost, uh, cost a lot of money to make uh, back in the sort of early 2000s. Um, I think it's still pretty, pretty high in the production of games um, made. Uh, I think now, though, I think it's Bioshock Infinite, which is probably the most expensive game uh, ever made so far, but Shenmue is like maybe second, I don't know. Um, can't remember how much it cost them to make, but it was a lot. Uh, which is a shame, because I really want to see Shenmue 3. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna complete this game and then do Shenmue 2 as well, um, both on the Dreamcast, so let's get it on. Son, focus on. Father! 
mother! Stay back, Mio. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Sensei.
Okay, we are back. We are in Ryu's room, and it's in the morning, December third, nineteen eighty-six. So right now I'm in my notebook, and uh, basically, that's my yeah, my memo pad. Basically, uh, this is where Ryu jots down all the information that he finds out that can lead him towards Land D, and. As you've seen in the cutscene, Landy was the guy um, with the ponytail who basically killed Ryu's dad. Um, so we're trying to find him and, uh, well, people who's affiliated with him. So we've got a couple of numbers here we can ring. And that's one of the cool features about this game is that you can, like, find different people's numbers and ring them to get some info um, so I've only got two friends that I can ring I think it's a friends oh no that's one of them is my aunt and then the other one is like Ryu's friend and I also got a home number okay so let's read this Okay, so mirror with dragon design stolen. Landy murdered Ryu's dad. Um, description of what he looked like. Um, in Men Time, dad killed a man named Zhao Sanming. What happened that day in the dojo? So here we are. I like the music on this, um, on this game. Really cool music. Pretty much forgotten the buttons. There we go. Um, I forgot what they do. Like I said, I haven't played this in a long time. I have completed this once, and that was pretty much when I first got the game. And uh, I've played it on and off, mainly in, just in the arcades. Um, so I'm gonna check my cupboards. There's a hell of a lot to uh, interact with in this game. Pretty sure I can go in my cupboards, right? Maybe I can. I swear I can open that cupboard. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. Here, my pocket money. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top Just gonna of go the straight to the arcades. Do you know where Fukusan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Okay, where am I going? I am. Um, I need to speak to Fuku-san, but I'm gonna check the crib. See what it's about. Oh. Ine-san. Fuku-san. You must be tired. Perhaps you should rest. I'm fine. If I don't keep busy, I'll get depressed, you know. That's just like you, Ine-san. Well, just don't overwork yourself. Yes. See you. Okay, what's this room again? I forgot. Oh, this is the living room. 
I believe there's like Sega Saturn in that cupboard. I can't seem to open it yet though. But yeah, I love the fact that you can interact with certain things, sort of pick up things, um, add it to your item, which is why you can collect certain things. Really unique feature of this game, and uh, you know, back then there really wasn't anything like this. Um, I mean, even today, actually, if you think about it, it's still a pretty unique game. It's actually one of my favourites um, of any of the consoles. God, this is a pretty dark uh, living room. I need to be going to the dojo and then speak to Fuku-san. If I can open that, ah, oh, no. Okay. Just need to get used to the uh, movement. Because that, like, looking backwards and then moving back really messes me up sometimes. The, like, animation's a bit slow. I can run, but I can't remember how. Okay, left trigger. Okay. It's a pretty damn big house. Must be rich. Especially having a dojo in the backyard. Real son, is everything okay? Don't worry. I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. Thanks for the help. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Get my revenge. Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. That's right. Gotta get my revenge. Oh. I don't remember this. Flashback. Keep your balance. That's right. <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straightened up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Yeah, I seriously don't remember that flashback. I wonder if I can trigger others. 
just by like walking around the house. What's this over here? Oh, it's a tap. Um, I forgot what I'm doing. So I'm gonna check my notebook quickly. I think I'm just gonna. Well, I'm, I'm supposed to. Yeah, just walk around the town and ask anyone if they saw men wearing black that day. So let's venture on. I don't think there's anything else really here to actually check out. Let's go. I love this part of the music in this uh, little city. So like ambient and chill. Hey. Hey, Mister. You want to wrestle? Sorry, maybe later, okay? You wanna wrestle? I think that look a bit too weird. Hmm? Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh -oh. You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. Aww. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. It's gotta be those bastards. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah. Everybody's helping out, too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. I see. Kitty don't look so good. So what are you trying to say? I need to, um, Think chip in. Hungry? Hmm. What's that? Wait a second. Okay. Dried fish, fried tofu. Um, we'll give it dried fish. Perfectly placed there. I wonder who put that there. Do this, so it's easier to eat. She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars, too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. <laughs> you promise? Bye-bye, y'all! 
Bye bye. Bye bye. It's basically with that cat. I think it's like an optional quest where you can keep feeding it. And then like uh, later on, I think the cat grows older and has kids, baby kittens. Um, I don't know if you actually get anything for doing it, but you don't have to, I think. Um, anyway, I'm supposed to be looking for Megumi, I think. Perhaps they're out? Yeah, they, like these how these apartments here basically hardly anyone is actually home. I don't think anybody's But in. it's pretty cool anyway. <laughs> that you can just like knock on people's doors. Occasionally like um, when you have to go to search for someone and then they gives you the address, etc. Um, then someone will be actually home. No one's but home. Yeah, most of the time, no one's home. Fuck, I've just pressed A again. Perhaps they're out? Let's quickly check my notebook. Need to visit. Oh no. Yamagishi san. Why did I say Meg Megumi? Let's keep venturing on. Don't look up. Oops. Out the uh, scenery. It's gonna be like a lot of times where I'm gonna be like running around the same sort of streets, talking to different people. And I remember when I first played this, I really didn't enjoy, you know, um, just keep running around everywhere in the same locations. Um, but it grew on me, you know, like I knew pretty much where everything was, um, where I was going, who to speak to, um, and I actually liked like this little town. Um, but yeah, where am I going now? Sumiya-san. Hi, Ryo. Yeah, I really hate the s certain voice actors, they pronounce Ryu differently, it's just funny. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamakishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Perhaps they're out? Oh no. I don't think anybody's in. So basically, we need to find out where that. where Yamagishi san. where he's actually about. Excuse me? Yes? What's this name plate say? 
It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> what if I uh, don't come back? <laughs> oh, this dude with the bike. I remember him. Now, Yuki. Yo! Yo. Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah. Is your neck but, okay? <laughs> hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm. Maybe Sakuragaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. <laughs> Gossip you Gaggle. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. 